all right guys welcome back to another exciting tutorial we want to take a look at what loops really means in python and what they are used for you know loops are used to repeat a specific block of code as when required like python provides two ways to of uh, executing loops so the first one is for loop and the second one is um while loop so what is for loop and what is while loop so let's dive in okay right now we want to start writing our code but for loop anytime you're thinking about for loop that for loop in python you used to iterate over a sequence so like list tuple strings and dictionaries see this particular thing that i was mentioning right now you also understand them very much better when we get to um data structure python okay so they are just more or less like some data type complex data type okay so that is the reason why okay i don't want to really you know dive into it but just i'll just tell you how to identify list uh, as we move on and um, that's it so let's create a new cell under this place and create some couple of codes and um, okay like i said um this is how to identify list anytime you have something in square bracket and you put values inside of starting be it numbers or strings so that particular thing is regarded as list so they are complex data types so that's why i will explain them in details on the data structure all right so now if you want to use um loop in there there's a particular syntax like okay like this okay let's do this way like this you know you have for student in so these are the keyword the in and the for these are the keywords that we use so this student is a variable that i set for iteration so what i'm by iteration for the repetition so you can give it any name you feel like just understand that you are going to type for with the intended variable name that you want to give to it in student so i have a list of students like fatai lola tommy lola ayo james and emmanuel and i want them to be displayed for me in sequence so that's why i said I trade over a sequence so I'm picking list right now as an example and this is the list I give it a variable a so in a means in that particular sequence so for student in a sequence a is a sequence so let's run the code right now all right let's check it out okay fine you can see it displays the name for me as I print it out okay so another thing we would like to take a look at is um, you can also use this in um you can use it in okay sorry i am not supposed to put this thing on that while i'm okay yeah, i'm supposed to put this code okay i'm supposed to put this particular code on the four okay this is while okay so good so now <clears throat> excuse me so you might really want to probably introduce if statement inside looping so how can you achieve that let's create some couple of codes and then let's create a new cell so here we will create um a for loop and i will add inside that for loop we have an statement how would that possible so let's check it out all right so now we have created some couple of codes like s s contain a value so i now want to set this i as a variable that i want to be using for sequence so for i and s if i is divisible by two and that divisive division is not equals to zero that means we have want to display even number so we should print what it should print not divisible by two so do you know this is f string f string is, a, is another way of um, string formatting if you want to put a variable just type f and that f is going to have single quote and by the time you want to type anything that's variable that you want to be in that f it will be what in inside a curly brace and you're going to type that variable like i i put it inside this place what i mean by that is that you know you just type okay print like you now have f with a single quote so it is this single quote you are going to be typing whatever string you want to type and if you if there is need for you to put a variable that variable is going to be in curly brace so that's what i did okay so let's run the code right now and let's check it out what we're going to have at the end of the day all right that means it's going it's going to i treat it's going to keep i treating and give us a value that is not divisible by two and that is five and um, three i guess all right let's run the code you can see say five not divisible by two three not divisible by two all right so you can see i used if inside four so it is it's in fact most times you'll be saying this all a lot in your program all right so just take note all right so let's dive in into wide loop so wide loop is another way of um of um of looping and this is when you want um like when you want like when you want to loop 
Alright, you can see this is i equals to what? 1. And you say while i is less than or equals to what? 5. Print i. So here I want to add values. I want it to be increasing. Alright, so how am I going to do that? So I say i is equals to i plus 1. So this thing is going to be what? Increasing until it is less than or equals to 5. So let's run the code and let's check it out. You can see this thing start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right, so it is reiterating it is increasing the in numbers until a condition is met that is until i is less than or equals to five all right good so you can also use if alongside with with, with this if probably there's a condition where you that, that warrants that but we're not going to dive into that now just understand the syntax and how it's been done so now this is just basically how um what you need to understand in looping in python all right hope you really understand this and um in the next tutorial we're going to take a look at how we can make use of break and continue and until then see you and have fun bye